latest campaign tool for the Senate candidates in Massachusetts. In this last month before the election, Governor Weld and Senator Kerry are putting politics online. 7 News political reporter Andy Hiller looks at the new way to reach out to voters. a new form of uh, communication. It's obviously only growing. I think everybody's pretty much got to have one these days. It is the internet, and the pages Kerry and Weld are putting on the web to inform and hopefully win voters. Weld's website is straightforward, a basic just-the-facts, text-only presentation that is essentially entry-level virtual politics, and much of it is still under construction, which may reflect Weld's own uncertainty about cyberspace. I think the jury's probably still out on whether it transfers votes. Uh, it sure will in the future, because we're going to be living a lot more in cyberspace in 10 years than we are right now. If you're not up on the net today, uh, you're just not part of the future, period. Kerry's web page reflects his enthusiasm. It's much more complex than Weld's, and lets any browser download parts of his speeches and ads. He's always moving forward leading the fight to put 100,000 more police officers on America's streets. The presidential race is running in cyberspace, too. Not surprisingly, both the Clinton-Gore and Dole Kemp campaigns have sophisticated websites. And in their first debate, Dole was pushing his page. If you really want to get involved, just tap into my homepage, www.dolecamp96.org. If you think this is all targeted at easily persuaded young voters, you're not alone, but you're still wrong. It turns out Internet users are older than the 20-something generation and less likely to be wowed by the World Wide Web, proving once again that in politics, expect the unexpected, even in candidate cyberspace.